Ciao, fellow Vita companions and welcome! New Homebrew browser has been just released and it is called VitaDB Downloader. Today we are checking it out, so let's get cracking! First and foremost, huge thanks to René Gatamente for creating it, it's greatly appreciated. Now, how to install it? Just install the VPK from preferred source, but keep in mind you need to have shared compiler plugin installed as well, the libshackg.suprx. If you don't have it, install Christopsm app and then Sharkfoot and they will make it happen. So VitaDB Downloader is an official PS Vita client for VitaDB website. The interface is pretty simple, no fancy splendor and it is also very similar to your loader app. It has many useful features like searching by author slash homebrew, filtering apps by category, ports, homebrews, utilities, emulators. Then you can also view screenshots on demand. You can also sort apps by different criteria, most recent, the oldest, the most or the least downloaded and also in alphabetical order, ascending or descending. It shows you the description of the app, plus the size of VPK and data files and you have also the ability to install them separately, so if you don't want a data file, just VPK, now you can do that. It has got very fast boot time, first time is the longest, but then very quick. It is also low storage usage, the only data that are kept are icons, plus the background music is also kept if you wish to have it. And I wish to have it, cause I can even make my own custom background music, and you too. Just convert it into .ogg format, call it bg and then place into ux0 data slash vitadb folder. And voila, your favorite song can now cheer you up alongside the browsing. Navigation in the app is very good, it already received some quality of life improvements and I'm sure more are yet to come. You can fast scroll apps list uh, with left right on the d-pad or you can fast scroll up and down with left joystick. You can also instantly return to the top of the list by pressing circle and you can start a search by rapidly pressing triangle. I was comparing the loading times with Better Homebrew Browser and EasyVPK and VitaDB was faster in both cases. I didn't bother to compare it with Vita Homebrew Browser cause we all know that's the slowest one. Overall, my first impressions are very positive and I'm glad we have received this new Homebrew Browser. It's definitely worth to have more options to choose from the more the better, we all know that, so now there is one more option available for you all to enjoy. I would say there are still some benefits to own even better homebrew browser cause you can browse also CBPS database, not just VitaDB, so I won't be deleting anything, I'm just adding all the time until there is no more free space. So one more time, huge thanks to developers for hard work, huge thanks to you for watching, thanks to members for support, you can also consider joining from just 99 cents to help the channel to grow. Check the links, check the Discord, you'll have a good one, and I'll see you in the next episode. Namaste.